I guess we can try to get started. Apologies if I'm a little discombobulated. I'm on not on my usual computer today. Uh, let's see. So, as you all know, the I'm sure the Jelly Doll viewer f finally got promoted to production. Yay! Uh, so, the Quick Graphics viewer, the one that does all the turns people into Jelly Dolls when they're too expensive. Um, which is great, and it actually is getting a pretty good reception on the usual places where people comment on things. So we're pretty happy with that. <laughs> uh, yeah. So uh, we're looking forward to Firestorm picking up that and the other viewers picking up that functionality. Um, uh, we've got lots of bug fixing, and hopefully we'll get back to the 64-bit viewer stuff very, very soon. Um, mo some of you may have been following the adventures of the various alternatives for replacing QuickTime. We think we've got a pretty solid strategy for that, and the actual implementation of that strategy is coming along reasonably well. So, uh... That should be appearing pretty soon. Uh, we also did a bunch of testing this week with, uh, I'm, I'm out in California at, at the mothership this week, and we did some testing with the our newest iteration of the Rift Viewer. Still a few issues to be dealt with, but uh, it's actually pretty good. So the, an update to that will hopefully be coming out in a couple of weeks. Uh, it, if it was a dirty install, Norton, you may have had, you may have had an old value for one of the variables involved that caused that. Um, I, I gotta say we're in a bit of a QA crunch, uh, recently. And so if, uh, you can file detailed JIRAs with lots of repro steps, it'll be much appreciated. Yeah. We are a little shorthanded these days. Something we expect to have fixed pretty soon, but it's a temporary problem. Uh, we do we do have one job opening in QA actually. We'll we'll keep the we'll keep the name Whirly Linden unused. Just in case, I'll, I'll instruct personnel that that's <laughs> that's not uh, that's not available to anybody else. Yeah, why would we pay her though? Uh, other than that, I don't think I have any particular news. I would love to get an update on how Firestorm release plans are coming and whether there are any particular blockers that 
uh, you're waiting for us on. I have a question request. Um, we had put out uh, a viewer that reduced the number of abuse report categories some time back, and I know Firestorms merged it in, uh, but abuse is still getting some reports uh, with the old categories. Um, and that means uh, they're frustrated. So I think it's only singularity, but if you know of uh, a change that's pending and you can merge it in, please do. Uh, I am not, at the moment, I am not using stat, uh, collecting stats for max complexity settings. Uh, I, I may, I may add that. Um, we do have, we do have data not yet in the stat system about, uh, what the complexity of avatars what the measured complexity of avatars is and how many of them are being rendered as jellies as a result, uh, which I may try to develop a report for. Yeah. Yes, I think it would be interesting to know. Yeah, that's that that's another setting I would love to have. The, we have some new capabilities from our our uh, stat system that I may try try to exploit for some of these questions. But I haven't haven't yet. I just learned about them yesterday. Uh, Bento is coming along quite well. We will have an updated viewer shortly, possibly as soon as next week. Uh, that has uh, a new reset skeleton feature that allows you to unscramble somebody whose joint positions have gotten scrambled. Just Pretty cool. As soon as it's ready to code up. Yeah, we uh, I, I would not wait for Bento before doing another release. Yeah, in addition to everything else, I think you want to be doing Bento separately from most other stuff. Right. The uh, just because there's a, a a quite high degree of uncertainty with with that schedule. Uh, hopefully, soon we will. We will have, we will be at the point where we'll be letting people put it on Agni, and I expect that at that point we will have dramatically more data to work with about what the problems are. 
it's I don't believe it's close. Well, hopefully we'll get back to working on our 64-bit stuff pretty soon. And once we've got the QuickTime thing dealt with, then maybe and we can I help. I think Ryder was close to getting the bake fail fix, so it shouldn't be too bad. Do you think that, Ryder? <laughs> Never mind. I, 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 have a, I, I have a definite idea about what is going on. And it's... All right. Yes, I have a repo. Repo. That's a... <laughs> yeah. Except that the last 20% of the problem takes 80% of the time. Exactly. Uh, yeah, we're we're removing QuickTime altogether. Period, and hopefully replacing it with better stuff. But there are some QuickTime specific media types that probably won't ever be rendered again. Right, MOV is most likely one of them. But in the process, I think we're gonna we're gonna end up with uh, actually better media handling than we had before. So everybody, keep your fingers crossed on that one. But I'm I'm feeling pretty good about it. As far as I know, voice is working. Uh, so unless people have other questions or topics, I've run out. Thing I'm kind of 
concerned about us is that there's been a lot of voice issues lately on the grid happening all over. That's my only concern there, right now. There have, and those are primarily a result of uh, denial of service tax on the voice provider. And we are working with them to see if we can improve that situation. But uh, I don't really have an update on it. So if you're the ones, if any of you are the ones who are attacking the Vivox servers, please stop. Well, I've not talked to them. <laughs> uh, there are I some fixes. We, we have some fixes in the pipeline that we hope will improve the recovery time from uh, from when a, a situation heals itself, but uh, they're not done yet. No, it's dead. Uh, Sorry, uh, that the was... The only thing I'm experiencing right now with... The only thing I'm experiencing with regards to voice right now, other than it cutting in and out, is that sometimes some avatars are not connecting to the region, or they do connect, but they're not connected fully. For everybody that's what I'm expecting right now. You, you mean the voice connections, or do you just? Yes, voice connections. There's right. an establishment I go to, and every once in a while, I've got one or two people that when they teleport in, they don't fully connect to the region. And I right. can't, they're connected, you can hear them talk, but they're like, whispering type sounds. Yeah, the, the that's one of the effects that the that the problems that the provider can can have at Vivox can have. Uh, it's uh, unfortunately it's not much we can do about it directly, um, but we are collaborating with them on on. Okay. Um, so I guess we've run out of topics. So you all get some time back and I get to go have lunch. Yay, food. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Thanks for coming, everybody. You too, Grandpa. Enjoy your lunch, Charles. Have an extra piece of cheesecake, by the way. <laughs>